ladies and gentlemen, Robin Williams. What's your brain doing when 10,000 people are laughing their heads off? I'm not a tuna. The human brain is, you know, an extraordinary three and a half pound gland. The moment you think you understand it, it comes out with something else. The breaking news actor Robin Williams is dead at the age of 63. They believe that the Bay Area resident committed suicide. There was a lot of media speculation. On Robin Williams' mind before his death, money. He's broke or he's depressed or he's just given up. The last movie was clear to all of us on that set that something was going on with Robin. There was something eroding within him. I was called in to go over the coroner's report. It was the beginning of understanding what had really gone on. My husband had unknowingly been battling a deadly disease. Lewy body dementia is a devastating illness, increases anxiety, self-doubt, causes delusions that have never been present in someone. Nearly every region of his brain was under attack. He experienced himself disintegrating. I remember him saying to me, I don't know what's going on. I'm not me anymore. It really amazed me that Robin could walk or move at all. People who are incredibly brilliant can tolerate degenerative diseases better. Robin Williams was a genius. He was always able to power through it, and he'd become this guy that you knew, remembered, and loved. The way that he was able to battle the inner turmoils, he was a freaking warrior. It no longer feels loyal to be silent about it, but maybe more loyal to share. He was blessed with what his heart was capable of. In the midst of fear, he wanted to help people be less afraid. Self goes away, ego, bye-bye. The thing that matters are others. That's what life is about. <laughs>